Discussion Network, bringing the anthropology to you. Sponsored by the Jerky's Primate Lab, committed to convicting the UF goers of genetic vandalism. Good evening. I'm Ron Grabbins. At the top of the modern anthropological news today is Future Neck. The future for American redneck is outlined in preserving the tradition of ignorance, backing up intellectual shortcomings with violence, the dowsing of brain waves with cheap beer, going forthright with the numbing of the brain to preclude any decent thought passing through. This is a certain future. Following are a list of predictions for Hicksentia 2020. No longer will the neck have to go down to the corner in the middle of the night for a pack of pell mells since the cigarette length will be increased to two feet long. Drunk driving laws will be repealed by right-wing violence and judiciary punishment only a tap on the forehead. Wives will be slapped around trailers by robots remotely controlled by the techno neck while he views pay-for-view cockfights and sips instant beer. Cigarette smoke banned in public buildings will be produced in massive quantities, blended with stale beer stank and cheap aftershave and blasted over cities by colossal fans. The three-day gruff will be standard business wear. Pickup truck dashboards will be equipped with a that Nashville sound generator. The TSNG will synthesize a standard country hit on the fly in real time. A national accounting organization will be established to record how many bar fights are started by an individual. Merit points will be awarded good towards lawn furniture, western shirts, and lube jobs. The Jer Jerky uh, Labs Institute requests your vote for any of the following tags to replace the archaic title of redneck. Mod Billy, Techno Neck, Hill Hick, Really Hilly Billy, Tobacco Lip, The Will Hilliam, The New Age Mountain Goat, Hog Lot Attendant, Backwoods Technician, Nuevo Hill Loafer, Future Neck, Red Bill, Compu Red, Stick Hick. Choose one and thank you. My guest host and anchor tonight is uh, Professor Grover Cramps of the University of Oregon Anthropological Studies Department. Thank you for joining us, Doctor. Thank you, Ron. Tell us a little bit about your research you're doing. Uh, well, we have uh, recently got a new grant uh, to help study the uh, uh, species that we found in southern Georgia, uh, Homo crackerus, which was a uh, fairly recent find, and we're hoping that the uh, contributions will come in and the people that be, or the powers that be, will uh, keep funding this project. It is very important that uh, this be studied to its full extent. I understand you were on the uh, research team that discovered Lucy. Is that true? Uh, this is true. Uh, Lucy uh, with uh, Dr. Leakey was, uh, well, Dr. Leakey, of course, he uh, and his wife all uh, did all the work. We came in later on and uh, we not only uh, documented what uh, Dr. Leakey had done with Lucy, but also we found uh, uh, Ricky uh, in Australia. Um, uh, a slight mutation from uh, Lucy. Uh, he had sort of a uh, uh, spinal bifida her herfedema on the uh, upper uh, oblongata. This, this is all very exciting. It was very exciting. Uh, so uh, you're going to share with us tonight a uh, little bit of your research that was recently published in uh, U.S. Uh, Business Nude and World Report? Uh, that is correct. Uh, it concerns uh, uh, that the experts of the uh, jerky primate lab that uh, escaped animals are now driving the interstate highway system uh, throughout the United States. The large high primates uh, have been witnessed in major cities including uh, our own and uh, recent sightings near Knoxville, Tennessee uh, even driving automobiles with sticks of fire in their mouth. Uh, the fact that these creatures have been reported to be operating uh, automotive uh, machinery is, uh, is an academic one. This is merely a form of transportation for the big monkeys. Uh, some of these big monkeys, or BMs, have, we like to call them, have been observed flying around uh, 
carelessly passing in traffic on the right, uh, failure to use their uh, turn signals, uh, and at least one incident of a tri-lane sweep crossing three lanes of traffic um, without a signals, like I once I said, and the problem lies in the condition that if the BM stays out of the jerky primate lab under their clinical supervision for an extended period, that animal may soon be incorporated into human society. Thank you, Doctor. This is very good. Thank you. Extraterrestrials messing in the monkeys. A missing link. Another jerky study. We know he is a baboon. We have studied him for years. Words spoken by a paranoid, schizophrenic, manic depressive in the San Francisco Mental Institution in the early 60s now ring with certain truth. There has always been the assertion that man evolved from apes. How did he do that? Not without help. Since the emergence of Homo erectus, not funny, yeah. when quasi-simian humanoid creatures walked upright, there was a clear evolutionary procession, then a leap to early man. In other words, the species went from an over-hairy, squawking, buck-fanged Mongolian poot thrower to a medium-hairy, level-eyed, wolf-esque, grunting urban professional. Doctor, could you share some of your insight on this? What would uh, a, the proposed physical character delineation of the missing link look like? Um, we believe that he would be slightly goony, not too unhairy, uh, a big knot on his forehead, um, with the eyes of a thinking animal uh, to the front and not to the side like the, uh, the, the predator has the eyes in the front to prey usually to the side. Um, the creature may also have a Power Ranger fixation. Uh, uh, Link, as we like to call him, will be a barefoot joker who will stink to the bee Jesus belt by all assumptions. Thank you. Thank you, Doctor. From our series on cultural anthropology, we visit modern trends and holidays. Today's powerful mercantile industry has insisted on changing holidays to suit a clamoring public. Much in the way that Hallmark creates a holiday to enhance corporate earnings, Madison Avenue has now successfully combined the holidays into an eight-week bank account massacre. The new holiday will fold Halloween, Christmas, Thanksgiving, and New Year's Eve into New Thanks Must Ween. A spokesman for Big Business Underworld said, the icons and decorations and customs will have to change slightly. The old will have to go so that the new may be purchased. Here are some things to expect. New Thanks Must Ween trick and New Thanks Must Ween treat pranks must be played throughout the season. However, it is important to consider the escalated price and quality of treats expected from the merry visitors, electronics, video games, high-end fashions, and the like. Conversely, the pranks are more serious, too. Doctor? The traditional Christmas is celebrated for an entire week on either side of December 25th. The two-week giving campaign is designed to stop complaints that celebrators aren't getting what they wanted gay apparel, designer labels. The antiquated Santa Claus will slim down and be a wolf man in a metallic suit. A year later, his name will change to Power Claus. The new Thank Must Ween tree will include all influences from all holidays. Christmas balls, Halloween skulls, New Year's Eve liquor bottles, and Indian Tommy hatchets. The former Christmas Pixie is now an axe-wielding little glitter skeleton with a feather headdress. Bank drafts automatically take 35% of your annual out before tax earnings into the convenient New Thank Must Ween Club. New Thank Must Ween feasting is now done throughout the season, and local civic groups will hold clinics to aid the public with the barfing. The greeting card tradition is, of course, stronger than ever. Each year, mail to 100 additional new people, even if you don't know them, and to celebrate how the Indians helped the pilgrims with the spring planting, 
dress in colonial attire and bury fresh fish in a friend or a neighbor's yard. New Year's Eves are celebrated freely throughout the season as well. This must include taking down of the new Thanksmas ween tree and burning it. This may be done as many times as desired as long as it is replaced before the actual date of December 31st when it is officially taken down and burned. Of course, the new season won't be easy to get used to. Just relax and don't worry. Most importantly, don't fight it. You'll only spoil the mood and cause holiday depression for others. And as always, if problems do occur this season, throw some money at it. Happy thanks, Miss Ween, everyone. Now, Doctor, you're going to share with us uh, some more of the research that you've done. I understand you for many years covered Bigfoot. Uh, Bigfoot, uh, the Yeti, uh, uh, whatever you like to call him. We have studied them all. I understand you for several years studied a piece of film that now in uh, most circles is believed to be a legitimate piece of film shot by Roger Patterson, Waccamaw rodeo rider uh, in Bluff Creek, California in 1959. Ah, yes, the, uh, the fudge sickle film, we like to call it. Yes, sir. Um, a most interesting uh, piece of film. Uh, even though the clarity is not that good, we believe that this was not a uh, pre-planned hoax. It was actual footage of the uh, Bigfoot entering a campground and uh, wreaking havoc amongst the campers there. Uh, most distraughtful for uh, some individuals, but uh, we think that the f footage is uh, very legitimate and uh, and the, there was also scents were also captured in mason jars, so that this sort of adds to the uh, validity of, of the film. I understand. Uh, yeah, as it is put in your research about the uh, authenticity, of it, it's, it's impossible for this to have been a, uh, an individual in a gorilla suit. Uh, there is uh, the uh, in information about the sagittal crest on the head of the uh, primate, that is which, correct. Are, which only occurs in primates over uh, six to eight hundred pounds. This is correct. Uh, they, the creature seems to have a pendulous breast, which uh, could be tracheal outpouchings that occur on orangutans and gorillas. This is quite true. Um, then there, of course, is the uh, the the, the uh, ape-like gait. Uh, I know that you've gone in and marked uh, grid uh, it, with it a grid. Is, the, it the is territory. very very hard uh, in any. Uh, falsified films to, for a human to capture the gate. I mean, uh, we've all seen the uh, Three Stooges movies with the uh, man in the ape suit, and, and it cannot be um, easily imitated. Uh, and actually, in actual fact, if you study it uh, frame by frame, it, it is not uh, in, intimidatable. I understand. So, uh, I understand also that there is a new species of ape and if you would, please share with us that uh, information from your, uh, your recent discovery. I understand national, you turned this information over to National Geographic? Uh, yes. Uh, the new species is a, uh, a lower, smaller animal, uh, which we had not quite uh, believed would be coming up uh, into um, the same uh, intelligence level as, say, uh, your um, gerbil even, uh, but it was a, a, a small tree-dwelling bug-eyed little guy with the suction-y little things on his fingers and uh, is a very adept at uh, being able to manipulate and uh, use a tool. Okay, that's very good. Uh, but the recent exposure by the National Geographic uh, uh, was a formerly uh, unknown African ape. Uh, very similar to a chimpanzee, uh, like I say, small, but they have most human uh, characteristics, uh, uh, much like the, uh, the third grade nerd in your high school, uh, you know, in your grade school class, always down there just bugging everybody, uh, a hairless face, uh, they're capable of and produce uh, human-like expressions. Uh, uh, in fact, uh, we filmed uh, quite a few of them telling us that we were number one quite a few times. The sexual habits uh, are, are more like uh, street behavior. Uh, the male furnished the female with uh, branches of the favorite leaves 
And uh, in return, she gave him some... Um, she gave him some. Oh, well, thank you. Yes, sir. Uh, also, uh, most curious, the, uh, the researchers in this group of uh, higher primates engage in numerous sexual positions, including uh, military, uh, Danish delivery, and astonishingly, even a Mexican cowboy. Good Lord. Uh, yes. Uh, this really is an undiscovered clan of a higher primate. Uh, uh, or is it just evolution? We're not real sure. Uh, you be the judge. See the video. Rated X. Due to all the, uh, as the Brits say, a bit of the other. Thank you. Thank you very much. Please join us again next week for another informative news and editorial feature on Anthropole, sponsored by Jerky's Primate Lab, bringing the anthropology to you.